morning, good afternoon. I'm coming, I'm filling up my water bottle. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. Happy Tuesday to you. Hello, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And then whether you're on the live or the replay, I pray all is well with you. So today, you all, I'm going to do a quick lunch. You all know I'm doing protein and veggies um, for what I'm eating. And then, um, so I'm going to show you this quick little meal you can make. And then uh, later, I'll come back in a couple of hours or so and make the, um, what is it, you all? What is that thing called? Oh, gosh. The patty melt. Sorry, I couldn't think of it. All right, so these are some boneless pork loins. So I'm gonna take these. I got these for under uh, $3 for two of them. So I'm just gonna take them and cut them. Just like this, okay? And I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to stir fry them with some veggies. Sorry, y'all, Bella is sleepy. She just had her lunch and she needs to just go ahead and take her little nap. And I can't see the comments right this second, but I'll be able to see you all in just a minute. Again, these are boneless pork loins. So of course you can do this with beef or chicken. That's totally up to you. You know, you don't ever have to use what I'm using. Use your meat of choice, or you could just do veggies. Stir fry you some veggies. So y'all see those? I'll cut them just like that. Okay. As you're coming in, please hit the like or share button. And if you haven't, I would appreciate it if you would do so. Okay. And this is gonna be enough. Yesterday I made the fish, you all. I had the, the fish, the red snapper, and the veggies that I made. And I literally was full the rest of the day. I did get a little hungry later on, so I ate a little bit of collard greens that I had from, um, that I made, what was that, Sunday? For Yeah, I made them Sunday. So I ate a little bit of greens, and that helped to like, you know, take that little hunger off. All right, so here we have our pork that we stripped up. So I need a bowl for that. I'm gonna take my pork and put it in this bowl. And I'm gonna put this over here because I'm gonna have to wash this before I do my next few steps here. Let me grab my pork. Give me just a second. I'm gonna just go ahead and get this washed. things like that okay let me see what i'm missing hey Dwayne, watching from tennessee all right now i'm gonna take a little bit of my um vegetable oil and i'm gonna just lightly coat it because we're gonna need a little bit in our wok as well so i'm just gonna coat it lightly like that and then i'm gonna add in my seasonings which i am using my Cajun seasoning, and I'm gonna use some of my adobo. So when it comes to your flavor, you just wanna season your meat however you see fit for you, okay? So I want a little bit of spice, so I'm gonna do some Cajun. Cajun is good, remember it has high sodium, so you don't wanna overload your meat or your vegetables with your Cajun. So I'm not gonna to do too much of that. You just want that flavor. We don't need all the sodium. that back there Ooh, I got in my throat and then I can go a little more with the adobo go ahead and add that extra flavor 
just like that. All right, y'all paying attention. <laughs> this gonna be an easy one, like always. But definitely for those, like I said, you all know I'm uh, going toward a goal. So when I'm working on my weight goal, I don't really mess with carbs at all. You will rarely see me do that unless it's in vegetables. So um, I stick strictly to protein and, um, and vegetables. So I'll be eating a separate meal than my children, as you all have been seeing. And I'm gonna keep that adobo out because I need that. So we have our meat ready. So we're gonna set that aside. And now I have my, and I did wash this, I have some mushrooms. Y'all know I love my mushrooms. And then I have me some bell pepper and onion. So I'm just gonna cut these julienne, my peppers. And leave them long, just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna cut my other pepper And then we're gonna cut up some onion. That was gonna be a little thick. There we go. And all of this will break up once we start stir frying it. So don't worry about that. As long as you cut it right, you're good to go. All right, I'm gonna leave my mushrooms like this. So we're gonna bring all this over here because this is going to be a quick little process here. Oh, one more thing I want to cut up on this board while I have it here. I have my spring mix lettuce, so I'm going to take that. And what I like to do when I'm having it, uh, you know, making a salad, because I am going to put mine over a bed of lettuce, I'm just going to cut it up just a little bit, not too much, so we don't have those big leafy green veggies we're trying to fight against. <laughs> So I'm gonna take that and put it in a bowl because we're gonna toss that with something. So I'm gonna put this here and we'll revisit this in a moment. We're gonna come over here. So we have all of our stuff. We have our onions and peppers. We have our chopped, our cut, sorry, sliced pork. And then we have our mushroom. So now in our wok, we're gonna add some oil. I'm gonna go between a high and a number eight. We're gonna heat that up. And I'm just wiping off my counter while that's heating up. It's just about hot. I'm gonna look at some of your comments here. I hate when it does this because it just shows people coming in. It doesn't show me where am I on my comments. I'm sorry, it's just not showing the, the comments, you all. When I go back and watch the live back, you all, it shows me the comments. So, 
Y'all stop commenting because I'll be able to see. All right, this is getting ready. So add that pork. I like to take two spoons. And again, we season this with blackened seasoning and um, adobo, okay? Blackened seasoning. I mean, not blackened, you all. Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning and Goya adobo. For those that want to know. This is boneless pork tenderloin. Boneless pork loin, not tenderloin. Boneless pork loin. I'm trying to turn these pieces over. It's about five minutes or so because they're thin. I slice them thin so we don't want to overcook them. We just need them to be done. So I can still have some tenderness to them. Ooh, it's coming up in the camera. Can you all see? I feel like it's blowing this way. I may have to move y'all on the other side. Let me see. I'll move you all over. Let me see if I can move you right here. Is that better? Let me know if that's better. It seems like it's just coming everywhere. Oh, that smoke. It's better okay and I turned on the vent so hopefully that'll help to let me see with the vent on I guess it's not gonna really matter <laughs> I'm so sorry it's just like a lot going on okay hopefully that's I don't know why it's like maybe I think it's blowing this way you all let's come over here that may be a little better I don't know all right, we're taking this out. All right, this here. So hopefully that will help with the smoke. All right, and now we're just gonna add in here those vegetables. Our mushrooms. And you just want to saute your vegetables until they are tender enough for you. But we are doing a stir fry style. So it's up to you, you know, where you're going with this. Now, because of my weight loss, I'm not adding sauce. So at some point, and when you stir fry your vegetables, you can add in either a stir fry sauce or whatever sauce you choose. That's up to you. Or you could do like fajitas, fajita style. But I'm letting you know this because you won't see me do it because I'm not eating any drink, you know, eating any sauces. I'm not doing any of that. But you may add sauces. 
whatever you please. I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil to my skillet. The vegetables are smelling good, honey. And we're gonna give it, uh oh, uh -uh, I want that. And I'm gonna keep going because I have it at a higher heat. Y'all know wok cook higher. And you just want to go until they're good enough for you. And I think that's good enough for me. I'm going to turn the heat off. Toss that meat back in. here. See if y'all can see. Can you all see? So we got a nice little stir fry there. So now what we're about to do with this, I'm going to show you. We can turn that off now. All right, so I got a little Caesar dressing. And I'm just adding it into my lettuce, that's all. Just a little bit. And then I got my Parmesan cheese. Now, if I were not on my weight loss thing, I would have added some sauce to my stir fry, right? And then I probably would have just grabbed some tortillas and ate that on some tortillas, you all, with some, you know, some toppings and stuff. But because, you know, I'm not going that route, I'm just giving you some recommendations. You can make you a... A burrito you can do whatever you want with yours okay so i'm just gonna toss it like that sorry i'm gonna grab my plate and i'm gonna add some of my lettuce onto a plate the caesar is lower in carb for the dressing okay the cheese we're good on the carbs and of course our meat and vegetables and let me get this other spoon so we can scoop some of this goodness on here. And I'm just going to add this on. To my salad and I have more than enough. I have more than enough to eat more later. Okay. More than enough. honey. Let me some onions. I love onions and peppers, you all. And look, I still have all of that. So I'll put that in a container. And then if I get hungry later, then I can eat some later. Because the kids are having the patty melts. So I'll come back and make that for you all in a little bit. Because a mama says she wants her patty melt when she walks in the door. I said, oh, okay, honey. So I got to be on the job. Now let me get a knife, cause I'm gonna need to cut my my meat. Maybe a fork, and I want to taste it. I'm gonna add a little bit of my um, black pepper. And if you want it, you could add a little bit more um, of your dressing across the top, but you really don't need it. So that's just a little light um, meal. It's actually, I'm saying light, but it's not light because it you be full. You'll be full when you eat stuff, honey, like this. But you can know, you can make you a little portion. And make you some extra that way if you get hungry you're not tempted to eat other things because that's what tends to happen when we're trying to lose weight and we don't have anything cooked you know we'll go and it's some meat on there too somewhere y'all <laughs> we'll start ordering out and doing stuff we shouldn't do 
out of the convenience of it. So we got our mushrooms, our onions, peppers. We got our pork on there, our lettuce, and all of that goodness. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Man. Y'all. And see, the meat is nice and tender. That's why I didn't cook it too long. Mmm. Because you don't want it to dry out. You want it done, but you want it tender. So when I take a bite, it's not rubbery. It's not, you know, it's not dry. It's really good. Mm, mm, mm. Well, give this a try. Y'all saw me make it. Mm. I'm not going to be rude. <laughs> so I'll be back in about a couple of hours and make the... um. I'll keep wanting to say panini, but make the patty melts. All right, so for that, you just need some ground beef. You need your bread. I'm using rye bread. No, I'm not using rye. I'm using some other kind of bread. I can't think of it right now. It's in my cupboard. But ground beef, your bread, your cheese, your onions, and that's all you need. Did I say your meat, your ground beef? Yeah. So I'll be back. Thank you all for hopping on. And I'll go back and see your comments because they were not popping up. I do apologize, but give this a try. I just wanted to show you all this little quick and easy, low-carb meal that you can eat. All right, have a good day.